Here at UBC, as part of an ambitious project involving instructors, students, staff, and talking squirrels, we are developing videos to help you with your writing skills, because communicating science effectively is an incredibly important part of being a good scientist. One of the goals of good science communication is to make specialist topics accessible to everyone. This is why word choice is so important. You must be really careful not to use language that might confuse your audience. Bear in mind that some words mean different things in different contexts. In our first example, Grammar Squirrel is telling Grammar Badger that burning fossil fuels will have a significant effect on global temperature. Unsurprisingly, Grammar Badger don't care. Grammar Badger don't give a shit. One of Grammar Squirrel's friends has some background knowledge in statistics, and as a result, she pictures the image that Grammar Squirrel was intending to get across. But the other two friends don't have any statistics background knowledge, and this leads to them interpreting the message incorrectly. To them, significant just means important, but this is subjective. What was important to one squirrel might not be to another. And that's a big problem when we're talking about statistical significance, because, by definition, it should be an objective comparison. Realising that there is a problem here, Grammar Squirrel checks the web to find a clear definition of significance. She reads, from a statistical point of view, that it's used when there is likely a real difference between groups. And she also sees that significant does mean important, and begins to see where the misinterpretation might come from. Bearing this in mind, she decides to rephrase her sentence, and now says, burning fossil fuels will impact global temperatures. This means the same thing to everyone, regardless of whether they have the statistical background knowledge or not, and as a result, it's a better word choice. Next, Grammar Squirrel explains that burning fossil fuels releases aerosols into the atmosphere. One of her friends has specialist knowledge in this subject area, and pictures the correct image. But her other friend took aerosols to mean something very different, and she is consequently very confused. This time, Grammar Squirrel checks the dictionary, and sees that there are indeed two definitions for aerosols, one being tiny particles suspended in air, and two being materials packed into spray cans. So, Realising that there is a potential problem here, she rephrases her sentence to say, burning fossil fuels releases tiny particles, called aerosols, into the air. And suddenly, the problem has disappeared. Finally, Grammar Squirrel explains that an increase in aerosol concentration should result in decreased temperatures, because more particles in the air deflect and absorb heat. One friend understood it fine again. By negative trend, she understood that as one variable increased, the other decreased. But her other friend completely misunderstood. He took negative trend to mean a bad trend, and having heard bad things about global warming, he pictured the opposite relationship. This time, Grammar Squirrel checked with two of her other friends. She asked one with a science background and one without how they interpreted the meaning of a sentence. Unsurprisingly, they confirm the different interpretations that her other friends had. So, rephrasing her sentence one final time, she says, As aerosol concentration increases, temperatures should decrease. And again, the problem has disappeared. It can certainly be hard to know whether you are confusing people from different backgrounds when you use scientific terminology, especially when you're learning that terminology yourself. However, you can get an idea of how common vocab can be used differently by reading lots of scientific texts and seeing when and where it crops up. We also saw that Grammar Squirrel improved her phrasing by consulting the web, a dictionary, and asking friends from different backgrounds to give her their opinions. <laughs>